Since joining the Paul Taylor Dance Company in 2010, Michael Novak quickly became a critic's favorite, but no one was more surprised than Novak when Taylor tapped him to be his successor three months before he died. Dance Magazine followed Novak during the company's appearances at the Orchestra of St. Luke's Bach Festival. It's no small thing to lose a founder. And from our audience, to our dancers, to alumni, to staff, to our board, everyone processes grief differently. It's balancing empathy and discernment at the same time and supporting people and comforting them, but also beginning to move us forward and the feelings that come along with that. I don't know if it warrants that conversation. We are right by Columbia's campus, and I'm like, you know, she did underwrite the PhD program for dance education at a teacher's college, and like, she's. I'm lucky in that I actually was an intern at the New York State Council on the Arts for three years or so. So I had a pretty good understanding of the scene and language and grants and annual reports and audits and which has helped me greatly right now. Um, and that we're continuing to take that model um, and not be exclusive, but be inclusive in terms of bringing dance everywhere. As a dancer, I was very focused on obviously my craft and the repertory. So to get kind of catapulted into this macro view um, in terms of our audience and our patrons and our board of directors, our school, our archives, our second company, having to have an awareness of all of them and where they're at and what we can do to help strengthen them. I think when they all work together will help propel Paul's vision forward. Taylor Dance Company is currently in the middle of a three-week run with the Orchestra of St. Luke's Bach Festival at the Manhattan School of Music. For the first time in our history, we're actually presenting all of Paul Taylor's dances set to Bach. The reason tonight is particularly special is John and Jody Arnhold have underwritten our performances at the OSL Bach Festival, and tonight we're going to be celebrating them and thanking them for their contributions. Represent to the community what you do. Um, it would be incredible. Um, Beginning. <laughs> what makes the Bach Festival so unique is that it is curated around a certain composer. I think it highlights not just Paul's sense of craft and diversity as an artist, but also Bach's range and mm -hmm. the way they interplay together. It's a really wonderful experience. <laughs> 